Merry Christmas. <laughs> Good morning, guys, and Merry Christmas. This is going to be an interesting experience that we're gonna share together. As you can see, I spent the coin on an Ikea gingerbread house, and I did my best at building it earlier in the morning, and it's looking... the value of my real estate? Not there. This is cream cheese, and we're about to apply cream cheese on the roof of our gingerbread house. So as you can see, I've got a lot of breakfast items and this is going to be my breakfast gingerbread house. And obviously we're gonna do lunch and dinner, but for the whole day, every food that I eat has to be under the form of a gingerbread house. I don't know how I come up with these ideas. I don't know why I hate myself that much, but I do. And that's the tea for today. The Christmas present that never stops giving. Wow things that I'm doing that I'm thinking of making a sushi gingerbread house. Rudolph, take the wheel. Rudolph, honestly, crash the sleigh. Imagine if I apply the frosting and then the bacon won't stick to it. The smell of gingerbread and the smell of cream cheese goes together, like, perfectly. Like, smell that. It smells like gingerbread only. You know what? I'm not even gonna worry about the back. This is going to be my bacon <laughs> roof. Do you know that story about the three little pigs that build a house? Well, Am I killing this? It looks better in real life than it does on camera, weirdly. I do have some baked beans. Should we attempt to put baked beans on the roof and see if it works? If we manage to put baked beans on the roof, this is going to be everything. I'm just gonna put my fingers in the baked beans. <laughs> I almost feel like doing the outline of the roof and leave the inside like dripping. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Cause all that orangey sauce is like dripping. It's honestly scary how good cream cheese makes things stick. Now for the bottom, I want to do like a sweet option for breakfast. So I was thinking of using some Lucky Charms. For the windows, I'm going to try to put the marshmallows all around it. This honestly looks more like a traditional gingerbread house because it just looks like candy. <gasps> oh, shit. This might be one of the most divisive things I've ever done on my channel. People are either going to think that I've lost my mind or, or that I truly found myself. Are you kidding me? That's actually good, right? Do you like it? Yeah. No. Yeah. Are you kidding me? It looks like a deep fried gingerbread house. That's a video idea. Buzzfeed calling their employees really quickly to steal my idea. Buzzfeed right now. <laughs> Truly finishing the year with a bang. <laughs> this might be the most me content I have ever made. So breakfast is served and it's literally dripping of baked beans and Lucky Charms. I don't even know where to start, but this is my breakfast. I love my life at the moment. And by the way, what we decided to do was we made the whole roof filled with baked beans. The whole roof is filled. Like if I lift this up, the baked beans would just flood the whole house. Should we do it? <laughs> I did. Oops. I wonder what bacon tastes with gingerbread, cream cheese, and a very small amount of frosting. Oh my god. Wow. Like, it doesn't taste sweet at all. All I'm getting is cream cheese, bacon. The gingerbread kind of tastes like maple syrup, so... It's a combo. Oh my god. Ikea is honestly great at build. That's beautiful. I love that this is a mess on the outside and empty on the inside, like me. Is this technically just a cereal bar? That's so good. Oh my God. I should have just covered the whole house in this. Do you want to try it? Try it. Just try it. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Now I'm thinking that we should have finished this side completely because we really didn't. <laughs> like, oh my god, this is the most confusing sandwich ever. That looks like infected s'mores. <laughs> like, you let it go like moldy and wide. Oh! You gotta be honest, I saw that. I don't even feel bad though that this is so, so much sugar, so much bacon, so much cream cheese because everyone eats unhealthy for Christmas. It's like a thing, right? <laughs> Maybe not this unhealthy. Because we're thinking of making a gingerbread sushi house. <laughs> gingerbread sushi might be the first time in the world this is ever gonna be attempted. I'm gonna finish my breakfast and I will see you guys in a few hours for lunch. Wow. 
honestly, I'm feeling it. It is officially time for lunch, and honestly, I thought that this would be a challenge, but I enjoyed breakfast so much that I'm just really excited for lunch. So we are going to make a sushi gingerbread house, and by the way, my gingerbread house skills are honestly, it's gonna be improving throughout this video. I'm getting really good at the frosting, so I wanna put a, a slice of cucumber up there. I think that's gonna look really cool. This is Japanese mayo, so hopefully this works. Should we apply that on the roof? This is probably not even close to the craziest idea I've had for this video, but I really wanna cover the whole of the house walls in fish, in salmon. It's not working. Let's see if the fish sticks to it. Oh my god. Why are gingerbread houses like the best thing ever? This might be a lot of work to cover the whole gingerbread house in fish, and I'm not gonna lie, this one I'm starting to doubt whether it's going to taste nice, but that actually works perfectly. I didn't really think about it, but we do have actual frosting mixed with mayo. So for the roof, what I wanna do is cover this with mayo. Wow, a look. This may be the single most offensive thing in the whole video, but we've got some sushi rice. Things that we're about to do, um, that. It's kind of sticking, isn't it? Oh my god, I cannot believe this actually works. You know when you envision something in your head? Okay, we might have to, like, try to smooth this out with a, with a knife after. But I think it will work out in the end, right? I'm also gonna grab some seaweed and I'm gonna basically apply some mayo on it. Japanese restaurants all over the world adopting my new techniques. Oh, that's gonna look so cool. Oh my god, this might be the best one yet. This is, it's truly bizarre. Like normal YouTubers building a gingerbread house, me transforming a gingerbread house into a sushi roll. Very different types of content, very different lives, I'm assuming. That does look so cool though. Oh my god, we really did cover that in fish, seaweed and rice. For the bit on top, I'm thinking, oh my god, please stick. If the cucumber sticks to the roof, this would be everything. <gasps> Why does it look Christmassy and very Japanese? It'd be really cool if we could also stick some cucumbers to the side of the roof. Like little cucumber sticks. Instead, we could also do some avocado on the lining of the roof. An avocado cucumber chimney. I mean, have I lost my my mind. So I'm gonna attempt to finish this as well as I can and this will be my lunch. I can only hope that this tastes nice. Things that I did um, that I honestly, this cucumber keeps on sliding off. I don't know if it's because the fish has been sitting here for a while or if it's the mayo, but it's not, it's not smelling great. It's not smelling like something that I'm dying to try. I mean, I could be wrong. I have a feeling that what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna go straight into dinner because I don't think this one is gonna be very enjoyable. Seaweed, cucumber, gingerbread, mayo. It tastes like candied cucumber and it tastes okay. If you guys don't believe me, try it for yourself, but seaweed frosting is actually incredible. I honestly couldn't even taste the gingerbread. It was all about the cucumber and the frosting. Wow. A choice. I think it's because of the um, frosting. The rice tastes like a rice pudding, but not in a good way, like the worst rice pudding you've ever had. So this is gonna be the fish front of the house. And oh, we lost the avocado on the door. Ugh. Sometimes when you're having food that is like weird, that doesn't really blend, you can almost taste things separately. For this one, it literally tastes like candied salmon and candied cucumber. It's like candy fish. So the only thing we haven't tried yet is the avocado with the ginger. That one's good. <laughs> um, this is not it. Out of all the things that could be, it's not it. I'm so glad we didn't do the other sides of the house because... <laughs> Truly a meal to remember, like, 
this is this one's gonna stay with me throughout the next year. I'm, this flavor might stay with me throughout the next year, to be honest. At this point, no amount of toothpaste can erase frosted salmon. So should we just move on to dinner already? Should we just clean up? and see if dinner is gonna taste better. I can still have cereal with gingerbread for the rest of the day. And that's still technically the challenge. We are wasting no time between lunch and dinner. We literally went to McDonald's, we got some chicken nuggets and some fries, and I am about to build our dinner gingerbread house, which is going to include nacho cheese, fast food, and also my favorite part, we're gonna cover the roof in crispy pepperoni. So let's go straight into it. This is supposed to look like melted cheese and I was hoping that we could it would like stop before it, it literally goes everywhere. At this point, I think it's safe to assume that I most likely am going to eat Lucky Charms for breakfast, lunch and dinner. It honestly kind of looks like frosting, but then it tastes wow, it tastes like sweet cheese. I'm going to send Cheesecake Factory out of business. Wait, I'm going to cut the pepperoni in like half. And then maybe... Oh my god, that actually looks good. So the pepperoni is going to go on top of the roof. I think I'm truly an underrated artist. Like, this is on a different level. The good thing with McDonald's fries is they are kind of stale, so I think this will make it kind of easier. So we're gonna try to glue some fries. Oh my god, I already know this is gonna look so messy. Is he Hansel and Gretel when they go to the... To the candy house and then there's a witch that's a thing that's my version of hansel and gretel <laughs> a nacho cheese house i'm like you got me i know i'm gonna die but i'll do it for nacho cheese also me every time i go to taco bell i think we should do the door <laughs> as a chicken nugget this chicken nugget is kind of the shape of a door so oh my god that actually looks good right why does oops Okay, it might fall apart, but it's worth it for a chicken nugget door. Why does it seem like this is actually something that I could have in real life? Why does that look so right? Doesn't it look good? I'm gonna do my best. We might have to cut some chicken nuggets to do like some effects here, but I think we're gonna get there. After a lot of hard work, um, this is dinner. <laughs> I think this might be our best creation so far. We even did like the little ketchup on the floor, which honestly, it looks like blood. It, <laughs> it looks like, you know, someone just got murdered in your doorstep. Merry Christmas. I honestly said the house was not in a good part of town. Yeah, I killed it. I really did kill it, you know. <laughs> good thing about this one is I think even if we don't like the gingerbread, there's so many things we can do with it. I can still enjoy this one. That's good. That's really good. Let's fill up the chimney with ketchup. Okay. So hopefully this one will season the whole <laughs> gingerbread house. I just ruined it. Merry Christmas. With breakfast, the bacon tasted really good. So I'm hoping that, cause pepperoni is kind of like bacon, right? That's good. <laughs> Would I go out of my way to remake this some other day when I'm not filming a video? No, I'm not gonna lie. Guys, can you please see the budget? I put chicken nuggets in windows. Ooh, chicken nuggets and nacho cheese. Weirdly, it eats some gingerbread. The only thing we haven't tried yet was the fries because it literally, it all fell apart. Kind of like, you know, just the whole video. This is great. I should have just put more chicken nuggets. I mean, I can technically do the other sides and just eat the toppings. A winning today. An easy challenge. Honestly, though, I thought that breakfast was everything. Somehow, dinner is really good. <laughs> like, I don't know. I can't even taste the frosting or the gingerbread. I'm going to be honest. That's when it's like good. Like, it's actually enjoyable also i just looked at that and <laughs> me when i'm done filming my videos if you ever wonder what my kitchen looks like i'm not lying that is an actual representation i think last year or the year before i made a video in which i only ate advent calendars for 24 hours and a lot of you guys were requesting that i did a part two but the thing is i couldn't find 
interesting enough advent calendars to do a part two. So instead, I decided to do eating gingerbread houses for 24 hours, which honestly ended up not being terrible. I don't know how, but I actually found this doable. For some reason, the gingerbread, it kind of acts like a tortilla chip, so it doesn't have that much flavor. So I don't know, like I honestly don't mind this and it's probably just me, but this was great. I love breakfast. I'm gonna have some frosting marshmallows and gingerbread later and that's gonna be the best part of my Christmas. So I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you have a Merry Christmas with your family and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well, as much as I did, which probably nobody does. But I love you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on. Also, don't forget to give this video a like only if you liked it. If you didn't like it, just tap out of this and just like don't ever look back. No, I mean, I will get sad, but I don't take it personally. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.